Hi guys, it's me, Lisa. <coughs> I'm going to wish you a happy new year. Um, at the moment, I am doing a cleansing of all of my tools because I want to cleanse all the negativity that's been around me for 2013 and focus on 2014. So basically, if you look, come here in my bedroom now, you can see that my altar is completely bare. Um, what I am doing is cleansing, what I'm doing is cleansing every single tool that I have on my altar, <coughs> including my statue. And how I tend to cleanse, as you can see I'm in my bathroom, <laughs> what I tend to do is how I cleanse my tools is, I don't use sage or, or anything, I use salt water. So basically what I've done is here, look, I've just put them all in the sink. I've got all my crystals in here, um, my bell, my um, Hecate beads. What I do is I just put some hot water, sprinkle a bit of salt in, and I cleanse them all with the salt water to get any rid of any neg negative energies. And then I let them dry off by themselves to dry off like this because it removes all negative energies and also I'll be doing this with my cauldron as well and also my statue I clean her with salt water as well sometimes um, but yes this is me cleansing my tools I'll be back in a bit once all my tools everything's cleansed and I've changed all my altar around Yay! <clears throat> Hi guys, I'm back. Um, <coughs> I fully cleansed my altar and cleaned all of my tools and this is what my altar looks like now. I have my things pinned on the wall. Um, my working candle. And some oils. My Hecate statue. My cauldron is so clean right now, look. It's so clean. I've got my wand, my knife, my little besom, my bell. All my crystals here. My Hecate um, beads. This is the altar now. I made my own little plaque. Um, I found a pic this was did have a little ornament on top, but I took it off ages ago. It fell off. Well, I didn't take it off. It fell off, I should say. And then I decided, because it's kind of expensive. You know what? You know what it's like witches on a budget and stuff. Um, <laughs> I just drawn it on a piece of wood. Um, <clears throat> so I draw that as my thing. So when I do spells, I can put, or if I'm consecrating something, like put my knife on it and charge it. Or if I'm charging a mojo bag, I can put it there. Ow! I just cracked my finger on there. So yes, this is my altar now. I have my lovely cards up that October Rain sent me. My lovely wreath that she sent me as well. And the key on it. My little owl for Hecate. And the cross for Hecate. Hecate loves red and black. <coughs> so hence why I have red and black on my altar. The um, black working candle. The ready coloured um, <coughs> bell that I made. Well, I coloured in, I should say. And it's got red here and black there. Um, this little thing here, my son made at school. It's like a tea light holder he made it at school. My son's 10 and he made it at school. All the kids made it. Um, so, because it was made by my, by my son, I put it on my altar. And I've put a little tea light candle here. Um, I've cleansed all of my... Um, crystals with salt water like you saw so yeah basically this is my altar and now I'm going to do a fire magic spell um, with paper and writing down everything that I want to get rid of in my life from 2013 um, I think I'm going to put down like um, all stress I want to get rid of all stress or depression um, due to, if you remember, um, my mum was <coughs> really ill with schizophrenia. And um, 
I'll tell you as you can see me. Um, yeah, as you know, my mum was ill with schizophrenia. As you know, I want to get rid of all that depression and stress from me um, because of it. So I'm going to write that down. Um, it's an easy, basic way of things you can do to get rid of things out of your life. Um, also, what I do um, also is at midnight, um, what I do is I open the back door and the front door to let out the 2013 also my friend does that which we were talking about earlier october rain does that she was talking about it earlier but also what i do is get a broom and i sweep out all the negativity out of the doors at midnight um to make sure all of the negativity have gone out of the room out of the room sorry out of the house and um, this is basically what i do other pagans and wiccans and other people may do different things but this is how i work my magic and um how i what i do in my practice i should say sorry um i just want to say thank you to um who is it again i just subscribed to them on youtube pagan something i think they're called but they commented on my eye of horus um you commented on my eye of horus tattoo this is the reason why i've got the eye of horus tattoo because before i used to worship isis but then she kind of drifted away and she she's like, can't be bothered with you no more. And then in came Hecate with a big kick up the back.